and you can go in there with your finger and your fingers are good paintbrushes too fix things up when this application of color is done and dried I am going to go over the whole thing with the glazing medium because it will give it a slick finish and we will be able to do our shading on it. So, okay, my friends, sorry about that, but this just goes to prove that mistakes are fixable. Okay, so now this is all dry, so now it's time to give the whole thing a coat of the glazing medium, and that is going to give me a nice slick surface on everything. This is slick, and this is slick because I had combined the um, paint with the medium, but these are not. And we need to have that slick surface so we can start to do shading. So there we go. So you all go put that on and come back when your layer is dry. And now the coat of um, glaze that I had put on is dry. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start shading. We're going to do some shading. And for that, I am using the Fabric Castile. These come in the big size and also a small size like a, a fine tip marker. I am using the Fabric Castile Pit Artist pen big brush. I am going to be doing the shading on the flowers and I am using the Fabric Castile Pit Artist pens, the big brush. You notice I have um, washi tape on the end and what I do is I have this roll that's put aside and I mark all of my, well, a lot of my pens so that when I go to a crop or teaching a class I, um, they know what's mine. Okay, so pick a washi tape, put it in your, um, put it aside and use it just for marking. And this is Walnut Brown 177. So we're going to be working on this flower over here. And you take your pen and you only do small sections at a time. So I come right in there and then see I can move that because of the glaze. Just a little bit in that corner and a little bit right there. So just find the outside of your flowers and go right around the edge and drag it with your finger. Also, I am coming along the edge of the leaves. Well, I'm going to do anything that is on the way, so to speak. So you can see how that has a little bit of depth to it now. If you wet your finger, I'm gonna get some water. You can clean out where um, you don't want it to be. Actually, what works well is a Q-tip with some water. So you take your Q-tip, dip it in a little water, and just clean where you don't want it to be shaded that much. Okay. So I'm going to go and do all my flowers. You are going to do the same thing. Oh, look. See that? I got shadows. The sun moved. I got some shadows going on. The sun moved. I thought it was that plant, but it must be something. You know what it is? Oh, my word. It's the... um power lines from the outside that is making these dark marks. I don't know what will happen if I close the shades. Let's see. 
I don't know if it's too dark. I closed the shades. So do your shading. We'll get back together. Um, I'll probably do the shading and when that's done, I'll come back.